Whether you know its name or not, chances are you have seen the fleur-de-lis before. The fleur-de-lis is everywhere. In fact, it's so ubiquitous that we hardly notice it anymore. But where did this symbol come from and what does it mean? We can't attribute the creation of the fleur-de-lis to any single civilization or location, because no one really knows when it was first created. References to it can be found in historical documents from Babylonia, India, Rome, and Egypt. During these times, the fleur-de-lis was known by different names and, as a pagan symbol, it had various meanings. Over time, the symbol's meaning changed as it became associated with the Frankish kings in the 5th century. One legend states that the Virgin Mary gave a lily to Clovis, the king of the Franks. Another legend says that it was an angel that presented a golden lily to Clovis. In both cases, it represented his conversion to Christianity and the resulting purification of his soul. The Franks, under Clovis I, converted from Frankish paganism to Roman Catholicism. Their tribes were unified into a kingdom, which became known as France, and the fleur-de-lis became Clovis's symbol. The name fleur-de-lis comes from the French word for the lily flower. The visual representation is a stylistic rendering of a lily. It has three petals, with the center petal being larger and more pointed. But there are several variations to its design, and no single one is accepted as the official version. With the many uses of the fleur-de-lis, it is hard to find a single meaning for the symbol itself. The main associations of the symbol come from the lily and anything connected with triplicities. It has been associated with royalty, peace, war, politics, sports, religion. It's believed to symbolize purity, light, perfection, life, the Virgin Mary, the Holy Trinity, the natural world, beauty, and sophistication. While some Christians view the fleur-de-lis as a pagan symbol, many Catholics see it as part of Christian iconography. This is because the lily represents purity and has been used since ancient times as a symbol of the Virgin Mary. The three-petal design of the symbol also represents the Holy Trinity, with the base representing the Virgin Mary. Up until the 1300s, many depictions of Jesus contained the fleur-de-lis. The symbol's association with Clovis also further strengthens it as a Christian symbol. However, the fleur-de-lis has a troubled history. Because it was a symbol of the French monarchy, during the French Revolution, the fleur-de-lis was used as a symbol of those who supported the monarchy versus those who supported the Democratic Republic. It became known as the flower of the French Revolution, associating it with the ills of the nobility. But the most controversial use of the symbol was as a brand for slaves and criminals. In France, the symbol was used to brand criminals as a punishment involving banishment sentences. From there, the use of the fleur-de-lis became codified as part of a set of regulations that was used in French colonies. This was adopted by the state of Louisiana in 1724, while it was still under French control. In this way, it became associated with supremacy, racism, and the dehumanization of others. Today, the fleur-de-lis continues to be a popular decorative motif, whether used on coats of arms of countries or as a gate topper. But its connection to slavery and to supremacy makes it a controversial symbol. What do you think of the fleur-de-lis? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making videos like this. Thanks for watching.